to the side. <laughs> Does it go up and then straight back down again? <laughs> well, you're probably having trouble with your frisbee. Not so our next challengers. Kevin Lowe and John Purdy are both keen players of Ultimate Frisbee. It's a team game that's best described as a cross between basketball and American football, only played with a Frisbee. Tonight, Kevin and John are going to test their accuracy in throwing a Frisbee, or disc as it's known, around a circuit of four obstacles. The disc must pass through each obstacle in turn without being dropped. If they do drop it, they must start that circuit again. Their challenge is to complete five circuits in 90 seconds or less. This is Pat's challenge. Pat, you must have great faith in these boys. Yeah, Five I have. circuits in 90 seconds. Yeah, but I think, you know, if you think back to, to what I do, if you take a DJ, you always see a headline in the paper, DJ plays discs in a spin. So this is perfect for me. I have to go for this. I mean, whether they're really good at it or not, I'm going to go for it because it just suits me. So good luck to them. Didn't understand a word of it, but <laughs> no, I've got along with that. Victoria, what do you think? Mm, I, I have problems with this one. I think, first of all, I thought it was dead easy. And now I've decided that there's too many things to hit. And what's, made you, what's made you change your mind with well, it? Well, because when I was told what it was, mm -hmm. I thought, well, catching a, a frisbee is easy because it flies through the air so slowly, right? <coughs> but then I realized I had to get them through the hoops. Mm -hmm. There's too much they could bump into, isn't there? Yes, you're absolutely right. Because if they miss the obstacles... Yeah, they start again they will have to start again, or if they drop the frisbee, they have to start again. Press your no button then, Victoria. Okay. Fair enough. Mark, what do you think? Well, I can throw a steering wheel quite good when I'm in a bit of a tantrum. So these, <laughs> these guys should be able to throw a frisbee with some accuracy, so I'm going for a yes. OK, that'll do for me. Valerie, what do you think? Um, people who uh, use frisbees are usually jolly good at it. They are on the beach anyway. I'm a bit undecided, but I think, as I've said yes every time so far, I'm going to say yes again. You're going to say yes again? OK, fair enough. Three yes is one no. Let's see what the audience think. Place your bets now, please. Now, there's a lot to achieve in this. As Victoria said, it looks easy at first. What do you think at home? You might all be great frisbee players. I'm not that good at it, I must say. Right, we're completely split down the middle here. 52 say yes and 48 say no. So please welcome our frisbeeers, John Purdy and Kevin Lowe. <laughs> Right now, explain to me, what is Ultimate Frisbee? It's a team game played with a Frisbee disc or flying disc. Now, is it a, actually a recognised sport? Uh, it is... A, we're not recognised by the Sports Council as such, no. Um, right. Because we, we don't have enough players in this country. I, I won't bore you with the technicalities, but uh, we're not. But you're hoping for the, for the thing to grow? Yeah. Yes. And and it, are, put it this way, there are 20,000 people that play it worldwide. <laughs> on a regular basis. So when, you, when you're playing as a team sport, can anybody play in the team? Anyone at all. Right, so this is open to men and women to, of all ages? Yeah, it's played uh, up to really quite a high level uh, at, on a co-ed basis. Right, now there's a very interesting uh, part of this sport that I find actually fascinating, and it's something to do, now it's called team, what was spirit? It's called the spirit of the game. The spirit of the game. Now tell us what this means. Okay, well it means that uh, every player re respects the player that he's play he or she is playing against, and what it means is that we don't have referees in our game. Um, play fouls are called by the players themselves. So if you cause a foul, mm -hmm. then you just call it yourself? You can call it, you can call a foul on yourself, yes. And do you trust everybody else to actually go along with this yes, idea? Yes, it does actually work, even at international level. That's a brilliant side to it, actually, I must say. Now, uh, unfortunately, we should be calling the fouls on this one. You're not going to get away with that. Uh, I think this is a very difficult challenge because you do have a lot to do. What's the most difficult part for you? Um, the most difficult throws for me are my, both my two throws. <laughs> <laughs> Your throws? Yes, the catching really is quite easy, but uh, the throws are difficult, especially the first one. So we've got to watch out for that one. That one. So if you get through that one, you have a very good chance of getting through each circuit. Yes, we do. Okay, good luck with it. All the best. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin and John. Okay, okay boys, you happy? Yep. Good luck. You have 90 seconds and your time starts now. Come on, John. Come on. Come on, John. One minute. 
I think if you're gonna blow it, you should blow it good and proper. <laughs> and I have to say, as an aging hippie, this is not a game for me. It's very difficult. Pat, what do you think? Well, they were so good in rehearsals, but um, to be honest with you, today you were hoopless. Sorry. Congrats, <laughs> <laughs> so please. Pat Sharp's challengers, John Purdy and Kevin Lowe. Dear, oh dear, you've got to do a forfeit. Now, this is the way we do the forfeits now. It's uh, Y-O-U-B-E-T on the front of the envelopes. Pick any one of them. Let me know what it is. Okay. That one will do. Take out the card, and I will read to you what it is you've got to do. Okay, thanks very much. Right. There'll be no flies on you with this forfeit because your little friends will have eaten them all. You're off to work in the spider house. <laughs> oh, nice. Do you like spiders? Well, I'm not crawling to you, but no, no. You hate spiders? Yeah, I do, I hate them, yeah. I'm thrilled! Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you. Now, be honest with you, Pat. Do you really hate spiders? I really do, I don't like them, yeah. This is better than ever, I <laughs> love it! Do you know Jeff Capes is frightened of spiders as well? Oh, there you go. Oh, but what a shame for the boys. And they were cracking this afternoon. They were, they yeah, as I say, they were much better in rehearsal. But uh, uh, when it's live and they're under pressure, that's the way it goes. I know. On to, to add insult to injury, no points. Okay. Victoria, but you get some points here. And you got to 206. This is well worth having because you now beat Mark, who stays on 152. And you stay on 220, Valerie, as well. OK, so we've still got two joint leaders. And... 48 of our audience were sadly right. Well, that's part two hovering before the break. See you in part three for a challenge that's strictly ballroom. Cha-cha-cha. See you then. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Penge Latin Dance Team.